Hello guys, in this video, as the title suggests, I'll be giving an unbiased review of Buak. Since Buak is a relatively fresh map, it may get some game-changing updates in the future, but the current version is quite unique in its own way, but it has its downsides. For example, the biggest issue I have is with the building, because I love building, especially trap bases. So for me, this was a big issue when the side doorways didn't work as advertised. What do they mean by that? Well, on the clip that you can see right now, I want to make a simple construction that will allow me to lock the door behind someone without actually showing myself. This works on Arid, by the way. And the issue is, I can't place the door if the wall is there. But since building is not everything to map, another issue is, unlike Arid or other recent curated maps, the map isn't centralized. Now, what do I mean by that? As you can see on Arid, most actions take place in the circle, including the airfield. But on Buak, the map is structured like a ring around the mountain where nothing takes place besides slaves in the caves getting coal and surful for clans to raise smaller groups and each other. Another issue is that the dead zone is a very one-sided place with the long tunnel and unturned full dark system. It's heavily biased to either side we just stay still. You could argue that you can go to the mines and use the elevator there, but the main entrance you're supposed to use can be easily camped and I don't think it was a good idea to make it like that. Adding to the loot distribution on the map, it's terrible. We have only one real point of interest, besides two little hidden locations, that will provide you with not enough weaponry to actually fight someone who occupies the zone. On balanced maps, like Russia, the progression is rather balanced. Now, I may sound a bit nerdy for this, but I do believe Russia is one of the best maps in Atherent, solely for the fact that it doesn't force people to go to the death zone and treats it as a high risk, high reward location that can get you an edge over your opponent and not a mandatory task to actually progress. Other than that, I believe that Buak's idea on focusing mainly on crafting is good in its own way, but can be very complicated due to the unturned crafting menu. In Rust, for example, the crafting window is very clean and easy to navigate, but in unturned, we have to scroll through a lot of other recipes to maybe find what you're looking for. The strong focus on survival and allowing the players to actually enjoy the game on single player is also a good point for it. Alongside all the story behind it, with the revolutionary cutscenes and the forgotten myth of the Unturn 2.0 Lighthouse Ghost that was brought back with this map. In the conclusion, I believe that as every map in Unturn, it has its ups and downs and it has room for change and get better at what is currently lacking. But as of now, I do not enjoy playing on it as much as I do on some other maps that aged better, like Russia. And if you've reached this far, thank you a lot. Feel free to comment what your thoughts are on the map down below and have a great day.